Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Mats channel and welcome back to our year seven series on number. Before I go on though, did you know that the Rusty Mats channel have got other social media sites that you can find us on? Have a look at the ribbon down here. That's where you're going to find us in the various places. I would encourage you to follow me on Instagram because that's where I put all my silly videos up um, on different maths problems and so on. So I look forward to seeing you there. Anyway, if you're just joining the series for the first time, welcome. These are all the topics I've done before. I've left a very convenient link above here showing you the playlist where you can find all these, these videos in the order that I have done them. That's because the way my brain works and the way that I teach is that if you sequence the work in the right way, it makes it easy for the students to understand. So now and again, I'll be talking about different links in the video. All right, without any further ado, let's go and add and subtract some mixed numbers. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. Everybody by now knows that I like drawing my little pizza stuff to represent fractions because the first time you would have seen fractions in primary school, it probably would have looked like that. So um, what's a mixed number? If you haven't watched my video on mixed numbers, I would suggest you go and have a look at that first and a pop out banner up here before carrying on with this video. All right, let's jump straight into it then. So I'm gonna add a couple of mixed numbers and I'm gonna show you why this stuff works. So let's just see, I've got some eight slice pizzas here, there are five of them. So I'm going to eat one whole pizza here. So that's a whole pizza. And then I'm going to eat another three out of eight from this one. Okay, so I've eaten one and three eighths. That's what that simply means. I've eaten one and three eighths. Now down here, I am going to have a couple of whole pizzas. And then I'm going to have just one slice from that one on a different night, not the same night. Don't judge me. Okay, different night. So I've eaten two whole pizzas there and then one eighth of the next one. Now, when you go to add these together, so I probably just bring them closer to each other. Um, when you go to add them together, you know from primary school that most of the times your teacher would have taught you, well, how many whole pizzas did you eat? Well, you can clearly see I've eaten one, two, three whole ones, which is just like adding the one and the two there. So that becomes three there. And then, how many individual slices did you have, eh? So with the individual slices, I had three eighths here. So let's use a different color so we don't mix it up. So three eighths there, add another one eighth there. So all together, I have had four eighths in individual slices. I had four extra slices, okay? So together, how much did I actually eat? Well, I ate three and four eighths of a pizza, or in other words, you can simplify that into three and a half pizzas if you want to. Now, this method is great if you're good at spotting the patterns. If we were taking away, and especially if the fraction goes over one, you may need to dip into one of these ones. And for that reason, I do not like this method because it can really throw students off when they get it wrong. So now I'm gonna show you um, another way and I'm gonna do a subtraction one now and show you another way that I would have normally done this. Okay, so I've got a second one down here where I have got a couple of mixed numbers and I'm going to subtract them this time. Now to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is change my mixed numbers into improper fractions. So to do that, I need to work out, well, how many pizzas did I really eat in there? That's quite a lot there. And to change it to an improper fraction, really, really easy. You multiply the four times eight, that's 32. And then you add that five, and that becomes 37 over eight. Now, why do you say, why? Okay, let me tell you why. You can see at the bottom here that this pizza has eight slices. So if I've eaten four whole pizzas, that is four lots of eight slices. 
that's 32 slices. And that is why you multiply there and then you add the extra five. Do you get that? I hope you got that. Okay, now I'm going to subtract and you can see I've got two sliced pizza now. This pizza is just cut in half. So it's only two slices. I've eaten two whole pizzas. That's four slices, which is the same as multiplying two times two. So that's four slices. Plus I ate an extra one slice. So that's going to be five slice out of the two slice pizza. And now I'm going to subtract this. Now, before I subtract this, I'm going to say that I want to have the same denominator. If you want to know why, and you haven't watched my last video on adding and subtracting fractions, click on the pop-out banner up here and go and have a look at that video on adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, I want the same denominator. They're different. We need to have it being the same before we can add them or subtract them. So I am going to multiply by four. Why? Multiplying two by four will make it eight. And if it's eight, it'll be the same denominator. So now I am going to have 37 over eight there. Take away 20 over eight here. Five times four is 20. Two times four is eight. Now I've got the same denominator. I can subtract those two. So 37, take away 20, that's 17 divided by 8. Don't forget, never add or subtract the denominator. And this is finished. If you want to represent it as a mixed number, which you probably should, if the pizza has 8 slices and I've eaten 17 slices, how many whole pizzas did I really eat? Well, I ate the first 8, that's a whole pizza. I ate another eight, that's 16 slices, that's a second pizza. So I've eaten two whole pizzas, and then I'm now on 16. One more to make 17, so I've eaten one extra slice. So two and one egg, and this is done. All right, guys, that's how you add and subtract mixed numbers. I hope you learned something new from that today. And if you did, give the video a like, smash that like button, don't forget to hit subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. But until I see you on the next one.